Why are worn tires an essential part of Formula One? One of the methods we use today to determine the health of a car's tires is to check the channels on the tires. Smooth tires that used to mean almost certain death for a car are now essential for Formula One. With the increase in the number of vehicles on the roads and the increase in their speed and power, the number of studies aimed at improving tire grip has also increased, resulting in the emergence of different groove shapes. Meanwhile, in the pinnacle of motorsports, Formula One, tires are largely worn. There are no grooves on the tires, and if there is any small flaking or sticking rubber on the tire, it is made smooth again. But why? First of all, weather conditions are crucial for Formula One races. In recent years, events such as races being stopped instead of racing in the rain have occurred due to this. The aim is to make the vehicles stick to the track better. The way to achieve this is through specially designed smooth tires. In other words, the modern Formula One management insists on racing in picnicking weather. Otherwise, we see disasters like the 2019 Belgian GP. Another significant difference in Formula One is that everything, from tires to fuel, motor oils to cooling fluids, is developed specifically for the sport. Tire components and asphalt are prepared to provide the highest level of grip. Therefore, in dry conditions, vehicles experience fewer problems. Another point is the restrictions imposed on Pirelli, the official tire manufacturer of Formula One. Pirelli produces tires that will work most efficiently for a short period of time and within a certain temperature range. Since vehicles are required to make at least one pit stop and change tires, it is sufficient to produce tires that can last for around 150 to 200 kilometers. As we can see, Formula One cars are designed to use their tires for a very short period of time and then discard them, while the tires themselves are designed to provide maximum performance during that short period. They are not meant to last for six months or anything like that. That's why we put special worn tires on million dollar cars that we wouldn't want on our own vehicles. The tires that racing enthusiasts know as slicks are not the same tires that we see on our cars when they wear out, they have been specially produced for racing since the 1960s. The 18-inch tires that we see on modern Formula One cars are developed by a team of 150 people at Pirelli's headquarters in Milan. This team begins by working on the physics and chemistry of the tire. Unlike the steel-reinforced tires we see on the roads, F1 tires are made of nylon and polyester. Although these tires can withstand greater loads, they do not have the thousands of kilometers of life that we see in road tires. Slick tires, which were last used in F1 in 1997 and returned in 2009, have undergone significant development since then. Pirelli engineers develop different compounds in Milan and send them to their facility in Romania for production. If they are unable to use the Romanian facility, they turn to Turkey. The produced tires are then tested in Italy for virtually every racing condition, even extreme situations. For example, tire speed tests are conducted at speeds of up to 450 km per hour. There are 18 structural components used in the tires. The ratios of these components are a secret for Pirelli and are sent to the teams as simplified tire data. It is up to the teams to combine and use this data. Pirelli also provides teams with a list of compounds they can use for each race. These different formulas, which we know as tire rubber, are customized to provide the best performance under different conditions. The temperature at which each tire performs best, as well as the speed and load, vary. Harder tire rubber is used in hot areas, while softer rubber is used in cold areas. The tire rubber used for soft tires in Singapore can be used for medium hard tires in France. A special gas rich in nitrogen is used in the tires to produce less pressure than in cars. The tire pressure is about 20 to 23 psi. This is intended to ensure more consistent use of the tires with less deviation in the data. Tires used in Formula One stick to the track over time and their surfaces wear out. Additionally, these tires are viscoelastic materials, meaning they can bend and flex like an elastic material, but they eventually return to their original shape, albeit slowly. 
This results in energy loss, which we see in the form of heating in the tires. When designing tires, the team focuses on three key areas, air this heating issue, as well as hysteresis, which is the tire's ability to return to its original shape, and modulus, which refers to the stiffness coefficient. Flexibility, temperature, and the materials used allow the tire to grip the road. Therefore, tires are produced without grooves to provide the highest possible grip.